Hi dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to all of you in basic piping and welding class. So today I am going to be start lecture 24. So in this lecture also I try to share with you some basic information about the welding profession. So related to the welding profession, this is the lecture number 5. So in this lecture I will uh, try to share with you some basic information about the lack of fusion and penetration. So what is the lack of fusion, what is the lack of penetration, then why cause and how you can prevent this type of uh, imperfection. So these are the things uh, basically I will uh, try to share with you some uh, basic information in this lecture. So I hope uh, you already seen my previous lecture 1 to 23. If you have any feedback or comments, don't forget to give your feedbacks and comments. Okay, let us start what we have in today lecture. And uh, you are watching from all the lecture, YouTube channel, Nur Muhammad and Facebook page, watch and learn. So if you still not subscribe my YouTube channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get the all update lecture. Same time you can follow my watch and learn Facebook also. So welding perfection, lack of fusion and their types. So lack of fusion, what is the lack of fusion? So lack of union between the weld metal and the parent metal or between the successive layer of the weld metal. So if the weld metal and parent metal not uh, connect properly, not melt properly, that is called the lack of fusion and another thing is the maybe we welding multi run welding so one pass welding to another pass welding if not melt properly the weld metal and uh, weld metal then that one also we can call the lack of fusion so i will uh, try to uh, share with you some basic information i hope you will watch my full lecture then you will be able to understand the full topic so types what is the types so lack of saddle fusion lack of interline fusion and it can be lack of growth fusion so these three types uh, can be happened in the fusion so this is the lack of fusion actually you can see here so overlap causing cooled lab so this is the overlap causing cool lab here the something uh, this is the exit so this is called the actually overlap you can see the another thing is the lack of sidewall fusion so this is the side wall so parent metal and wall metal is not fused properly so that is called actually lack of sidewall fusion then another one you can see the lack of root fusion this is the root side so not melt properly so this is the lack of root fusion so lack of interrun fusion so one uh, one layer to another layer one pass to another pass one metal not fused properly so lack of sidewall fusion on incomplete uh, field group so you can see this is the cap side so here not melt properly and the incomplete field group also so these are the things actually i will uh, discuss with you more information so let's see what we have in the more details so lack of fusion so lack of union between the weld and parent metal and on or both side of the weld so during welding sufficient heat must be available at the edge of the weld pool to produce fuse with the parent metal so this is actually the uh, lack of fusion and this is the actually preventive how we can prevent so if we see in picture you can see here side wall fusion so this is the parent metal this is the wall metal so during welding here not uh, fused properly so that is actually called the lack of uh, fusion uh, side wall fusion so how we can prevent this type of uh, defects then we need the sufficient heat during welding so your current at voltage must be set properly so you need to follow all time the SPWPS or even the mention current and welding then only you are able to understand uh, able to get the proper melt is the this location. So what is the cause and prevention so low heat input it to the weld so when you do the welding if the, there is the heat input is low then it can be the can be then how we prevent the increase our voltage or welding current decrease travel speed. So when you do the travel speed with the fast welding that time can be the low heat input. So that is the reason can be cause the lack of sidewall fusion. So we need to the set the our current and voltage properly as per WPA then we can uh, get the proper uh, uh, proper uh, welding that they are. So this type of uh, defects we can uh, prevent. 
So molten metal floating ahead of dark, the so improved electrode angle and work position, increased travel speed. <coughs> So oxide or iskal on the well preparation, then improve age preparation procedure, then excess introduce uh, inductance in MEG deep transfer welding, they reduce inductance even if this increase better. So this is the things actually the sidewall fusion actually happened and this is the preventive action. So when we do the welding, so we must need to take care about this. So one thing you should keep remember and you try to uh, make understanding your welder and your welding supervisor or project manager. Uh, if you do the one time job, then you can do one time good quality. If after welding you can get the, this type of problem, then you need to again the recard the joint and we do the again welding. So, this is the double time and double cost. So, if we do the as per procedure quality job, then maybe we can uh, we can achieve the good quality and we can achieve the scale. Uh, production also and we can deliver the project is in time. So lack of internal fusion, what is the lack of internal fusion? So lack of union along the fusion line between the oil beads. So I will tell you if we do the multi run welding, so one run to another run, what is the uh, if not melt properly, this is actually called the internal fusion. So lack of internal fusion produce cherbix between the oil beads and cause local and draft of slack. So, if there is the some slug is entrapped, then also can be the like this interrun fusion. So, you can see in this picture, you can see here. So, actually, this is the one metal, this is also one metal. So, this <coughs> here no melt properly. So, this is called the lack of interrun fusion. So, what is the cause and prevention action? So, low arc voltage resulting in low fluidity of oil pool, <coughs> then increase current if we increase current then we can uh, <coughs> resolve this issue the too high travel speed if you while the too fast then also can be cause this type of problem so reduce the travel speed then inaccurate bead placement so when you do the multi run welding maybe you bead placement is not correct then can be the uh, this type of defects so if this is the cause then must you need to retrain the welder then only you will able to get the proper quality and you will able to prevent this type of imperfection. So, another of lack of root fusion. So, what is the lack of root fusion? So, lack of root fusion the well metal and brain metal at the root of the well. If the same things is the root of the well not well properly, this is called the lack of root fusion. So, basically we should uh, we need to know what is the root, what is the uh, well metal what is the <coughs> side wall. So, if we know these the things, so if not fuse or melt properly in that area then we can say okay, this is the side wall not fused. So, we can say the lack of side wall fusion. If root not fused then we can say lack of root fusion. If the well bit to well bit not fused then we can say the interrun fusion, lack of interrun fusion. So, this the common term we need to keep remember then we it will be easy to understand and it is easy to the uh, know what is the actually what type of defect. So, all the actually lack of fusion defect, but in the same defect is different location then this is name call actually different, but defect is the same. So, I hope you understand what is the lack of root fusion, what is what is side all fusion and what is the lack of internal fusion. So, okay, let us see the uh, okay, you can see in this picture this is the lack of uh, uh, root fusion actually. So, another of why the cause and prevention. So, low heat input if heat input is the low then can be cause this the problem. So, you need to increase the welding current and arc book rate, decrease travel speed. The excessive inducted in memory deep transfer welding then use correct induction setting for the parent metal thickness. The MMA electrode to large low current density reduce electrode use use of vertical down welding. So, if you use the vertical down welding then can cause this type of problem. The switch to vertical up procedure, the large road gap, they reduce the road gap. If road gap is there large then this can be happened. So, reduce the road gap, the small road gap. Then if you road gap is very small then also can be this things is happened. So, ensure correct road to pinning. So, incorrect angle or electrode manipulation, they use correct electrode angle, ensure welder is fully qualified and competent. 
excessive misalignment the root ensure correct alignment so actually if we follow the as per the wps as per the procedure so actually this type of problem should not become if we use the correct uh, uh, bevel preparation if there are root gap root face and bevel angle and if we follow the uh, as per wps is the voltage and current and travel speed everything if you follow as per the wps should not become this type of problem so as a welding supervisor or as a welding welding inspector you should uh, need to teach the welder if you should follow the wps maybe if you follow the 100 percent wps it will take some time since longer but end of the day you will get the good quality and it will be better for you because if after welding you get the defect then you need to repair again so this is the consuming the more time so actually we said do it once do it right so when you do one time then we will do this is the correct way then only we can uh, get the good quality and good productivity then a lack of penetration and types what is the lack of penetration so the difference between actual and nominal penetration so if the a lack of penetration actually if the nominal penetration and actual penetration if there is something is different that is called actually the lack of penetration so incomplete penetration and incomplete root penetration so there can be the two things only the incomplete penetration and the, the incomplete root penetration so let's see what is this so incomplete penetration the difference between actual and nominal penetration if the wire joint is not of a critical nature example the required strain is low and the area is not prone to fatigue cracking it is possible to produce a partial penetration well in this case incomplete root penetration is considered part of this structure and not an imperfection this would normal be determined by the design code and requirements so if you see the this is the welding so you can see this is the incomplete penetration actually the this is the incomplete penetration but this is structure if not critical and not prone to fatigue cracking area then this one we can see the partial penetration also if partial penetration uh, you can consider this is not imperfection this is the acceptable if this is the strength member or the important member then you should have the as per the engineering design full penetration if not the complete penetration that time it will be rejected if the considered as the partial penetration then it should not be rejected okay so incomplete penetration cause and prevention so excessive thick root face so root face if the thick is excessive insufficient root gap or failure to cut back to sound metal when back gouging so these are the things when happen if the root gap is excessive and the root gap is the thick that means very small then insufficient root gap there is no root gap actually then failure to cut back to sound metal when the back housing when you to the back housing maybe we cannot go until the previous root so this is the cause can be happened the incomplete penetration so improve back housing technique and ensure the ace preparation is as per approved wps so another thing is low heat input so increase welding current or arc voltage decrease travel speed so excessive inductance in mag mag they are deep transfer welding pool loading ahead of arc so improve electric setting and possibility switch to spray arc transfer so mma electrode to large low current density so reduce the electrode size the use of vertical down welding so switch to vertical up procedure so if we do the these the things prevention action then we can prevent this type of imperfection so we should avoid this type of cause and we issue then uh, we can uh, uh, improve our uh, welding quality <coughs> so another one is the incomplete uh, root penetration so both the fusion phase of the root are not melted or examined from the root side you can clearly see both of the root is unmelted so you can see in this picture and this picture so this is the road side totally unmelted so actually this is the com call for the incomplete root penetration so for the incomplete the uh, root fusion uh, so road penetration and incomplete fusion so see you will able to understand from this uh, lecture i hope so 
So, incomplete road penetration why cause? So, same the things before I already explained uh, the why the incomplete the penetration and incomplete road penetration. So, this is the same cause. So, we, if we can maintain then we can uh, prevent this type of uh, uh, this type of imperfection. So, that is all this, uh, this all the today in lecture. So, I hope you will able to understand what is the lack of root fusion, what is the lack of fusion and what is the lack of penetration. So, still if you have any doubt or any uh, feedback, you can uh, give in feedback in my comment section, I will try to answer you feedback, uh, I will uh, try to improve my uh, lecture quality. So, thanks to all for watching the full lecture. So, see you soon in my next lecture. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.